Keith Haring was a very famous American artist that lived from 1958 to 1990. Keith developed a love of drawing at a very early age. He learned basic cartooning skills from his father and was very inspired by Dr. Seuss and Walt Disney. Keith was born in Pennsylvania, but later went to art school at the School of Visual Arts in New York City. While he was an art student at the School of Visual Arts in New York City, Keith realized he wanted to bring art to everyone. The most important thing to Keith was to be able to communicate to the whole world. One day, while riding the subway, Keith noticed plain black paper hanging in unused advertising space. He ran to a store and bought plain white chalk, returned to the subway, and started drawing. Keith knew he could get in trouble with the police if he was caught drawing on the paper, so he always worked fast. With just a few lines, his simple figures would come to life. After drawing in the subway stations a few times, Keith had attracted a lot of attention. People would often stand around and watch him work. Sometimes he'd get caught by the police. Between 1980 and 1985, Herring produced hundreds of these public drawings in rapid rhythmic lines, sometimes creating as many as 40 subway drawings just in one day. Keith's graffiti style art is a form of pop art, a movement in modern art that imitates themes in popular culture and mass media. Art that often incorporates common everyday objects such as road signs, symbols, and comic strips. Soon Keith was invited to paint on walls all over the world. Instead of getting in trouble for it, Keith was asked by city officials to paint murals. Many of Keith Haring's paintings carried social messages. He produced more than 50 public artworks in dozens of cities around the world, many of which were created for charities, hospitals, and children's daycare centers. Artists have different ways of letting others know a painting of theirs. They may sign it with a special name or put a symbol on it. Well, Keith often drew Radiant Baby, as this was his signature on an artwork. The rays around the baby are not radioactive, they symbolize energy. Because Keith felt that art should be everywhere, he put drawings like these, Radiant Baby, on everyday items such as posters, buttons, and t-shirts. Keith Haring's paintings came alive with energy, movement, and color. These are just a few of his many works of art. As Keith became more popular and well-known, he still took the time to work with children on projects he felt were important. Keith designed a poster to encourage children to read, he painted an anti-drug mural, and then he even donated art to raise money for AIDS research. As Keith Haring's popularity grew, he started to work with big stars such as Madonna. He helped design sets, costumes. He also opened a pop shop, a retail store in Soho, New York. He sold t-shirts, toys, posters, buttons, and magnets bearing all of his images. Haring was considered the shop to be one an extension of his work and painted the entire interior of the store in an abstract black and white mural. It was a striking, unique retail environment. After almost 20 years in business, the pop shop in New York City unfortunately closed in September of 2005. Just because the pop shop closed doesn't mean you won't find his work anywhere. Today, Keith Haring's works of art are exhibited in museums all over the world. inspired artwork today. You will need markers, paint or crayons, something to color with, a black marker pen, and some white paper. 
So before we begin, I'd like to show you this key pairing picture book that is a children's counting book, but used all of his artwork. You can see all of his characters and the movement and the bright colors and those big black exaggerated lines that showed movement, just the way the figures were drawn out. And these were all of his paintings that they used in this counting book that showed all of his art. Just some good ideas on, on how to create these guys. I have some student artwork as well that was done. Uh, remember some of Keith Haring's work showed images and, and social messages. So this one's showing love. Here's a guy that looks like he's just dancing. Here's another one holding up that symbolic radiant baby, which was Keith Haring's signature logo. Um, these guys look like they're doing some kind of cheerleading moves. And again, another one. But again, they're all brightly colored with the big black fold outline. So this might take a little practice and you can hold your paper either horizontally or vertically, it's up to you. But basically all we're going to do today is draw some stick figures. And I'm gonna go on to do this with straight with marker. And when you draw stick figures, I mean, really you're just drawing a head, which is a circle, a torso, legs, arms, maybe some stick hands, some stick feet. Now it doesn't quite look like a Keith Herring figure yet, but if you thicken the lines with your marker and you make the torso a little thicker, and then you make the legs a little thicker, and maybe the feet, and you keep going over these lines, you'll get a figure that becomes a little more like a Keith Herring figure. And it's as simple as just thickening up a stick figure's lines. And then the most important part is outlining it with that black outline. So you can come up with a couple of different versions and plan out what you'd like to draw. But just to practice first, to give you some idea of how you make these figures, it's really just a stick figure outlined to thicken them up with some black outlines. And it's gonna give you that real pop art, comic strip effect that he used in all of his art. drawings in the style of Keith Haring, just using simple stick figures to look like his characters that he was so well known for in that pop art graffiti style fashion. You can see the bold black outlines and the movement lines. I even added Radiant Baby in the corner here, which was his signature logo. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I can't wait to see your artwork. Don't forget to send me a picture.